Yo, 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 what's up guys? Welcome back to Design Life. Let me know down in the comments below how your design life has been going. I think my audience is about 18 to 25. That's what the analytics tell me. So you guys are either just entering to college or are currently college students. And so I wanted to share with you guys what to expect with your first job because maybe you know you've taken a couple classes you've learned some of the technical skills uh, you have a couple projects under your belt that you're really proud of but you've never had a real kind of job you know I could sit here I can come up with a list and I could tell you guys what to expect but a better way to do that is actually to go on and search for job openings for internships for uh, industrial designers so what you want to do is go ahead, you know, search on Google, you know, industrial design internship, and you'll find a lot of different listings. It doesn't matter what state they're in, just find any. We want to just read through what this company is offering and asking for and what they are expecting of an industrial designer uh, intern. And so this is where you can just kind of read through a list, a perfectly written list of a real world example of what a company is looking for for an industrial design intern. You guys get what I'm saying here? It's a clear answer, a window to what you can expect. And, and so when you know this information, it's really valuable because now you can be like, oh, well, I am kind of weak here or, or um, I can improve my solid work skills and improve your skills in the right way to get that job that you always want because that's the goal here at this YouTube channel we're trying to promote in successful industrial designers. And so let's just jump right into the computer. I have found a uh, job listing already. So we're just gonna go through it real quick. All right guys, so this is Neural Analytics and they're located in Los Angeles. California. Okay, so Neuro Analytics is a fast-paced medical device company, is leading innovation for brain health assessment, and is seeking an intern to join our design team. Okay, that's pretty cool. That sounds really um, advanced. It's maybe talking about medical design. If you guys haven't seen yet, I went over a couple, I think about 10 different fields you could get into with industrial design. So if you haven't seen that yet, definitely check that out. Links should be down in the bottom description. Okay, uh, key responsibilities, support design team, hardware, GUI, web, and branding projects, design and develop products in independent and team environments. Okay, so support the team. So this, again, you know, something that I've always talked about is you're going to be working with teams as an industrial designer. You got to have to get along with people. It says here, you know, hardware people, GUI people, web people, and you're going to be working with maybe branding projects. Inspire peers with creative approach to thinking and problem solving. So, you know, you... If, if you feel like you have this, go ahead and feel confident about it. And that's what you should show when you go into the interview. Ensure deadlines are met consistently. Okay. So this is so far not asking anything technical of you. This is really true, pure talent, um, brains, IQ, being able to think, being able to problem solve, being able to be... Uh, uh, work well with the team. So, so far, nothing technical here. It's really just being a good uh, professional, you know. Explore a wide variety of compelling design options through sketching and rendering. Okay, so here we go. Here is where it gets a little bit more technical. So now it's asking us um, to create developing design. So this is one part by itself. This is saying, you know, come up with some beautiful, sick, uh, awesome design. This is what I thrive off of. I always want to design cool looking stuff. So that's easy for me. Done. All right. What else? Compelling design options through sketching and rendering. Okay. So this is where you can start thinking, maybe I need to start developing my sketching skills a little more and rendering. So you're going to take a little bit more time with the rendering. So use sketching as something that's more quick and fast. And then when you want to develop something and show something to its fullest potential to make something look beautiful, to sell the idea that's when you make the rendering so two different options right there for you to choose from okay communicate concepts and ideas through verbal okay so verbal meaning that 
you probably should be good at talking, you know, ideas and concepts and um, selling your idea. That's probably what they mean right there. Visual, okay, you know, you should be able to show it. Industrial designers, that's what we do. That's what we're good at. And written presentations, easy, done. You know, just type, type, type. Do some callouts. Uh, do do a quick blurb. You know, any everybody can do that. Market research material research and trend analysis for future projects very very cool right you're just literally doing research you're an r&d person now you're studying about a brand new topic a brand new world that you never really heard about you're you're building this um database of knowledge this is awesome they're paying you to be able to develop these skills on the job. That's super, super cool, guys. And so, you know, this is stuff to expect here. And this is uh, what I find to be very, very helpful is looking at these job applications because you never find these types of tips. All right, because, you know, if you can fulfill all of these bullet points, you're literally a perfect person for these companies. And guess what, guys? You think that there is a lot of competition out there? On the flip side, uh, people that are looking for help, looking for a good employee, it's hard to find really, really good, smart employees out there. Like, you know, like most people, they're they're just getting by or they're just in it for the money or they're just this, they're just that. They have their own agenda. It's really, really hard to find a good employee. So if you can nail all of these down, you know, you can guarantee that you got yourself a job. And trending analysis for future projects. That's cool. Okay, this is trending stuff. This is stuff that's up and coming, you know, focusing on the future. Future. All right, so the next bullet point is contribute to define and advancing neural analytics product design language and visual brand identity. Boom, guys. So it sounds like they're looking for an intern, but they're really asking you to do some really, really cool stuff. You know, like, can you imagine if you can say, I'm a student and I was the one that did their industrial design, that did their uh, product and development. You know, moving forward, this company is going to be using your design language as an intern. So you can be a student still. You can be, you know, uh, a first level industrial designer that recently just graduated and do something as big as this you know defining a product line moving forward and brand identity dude cool super super cool if you are an industrial designer and you don't think that's cool i don't know why you are in the field okay work with outside suppliers to enable design success and address technical issues in the development process okay so this is something that you are definitely going to do as an industrial designer on the job is you're going to be reaching out and talking to different vendors either for a certain service either to get something cnc prototyped or manufactured so you're going to be talking on the phone with other people and you're going to be pulling in and outsourcing things sometimes maybe you need some 3d scanning services or you don't have an in-house 3d printer so you need to source that out so this is going to be stuff that you're going to have to do but it's no big deal it's not like you need training for it it's not like you need to go to school for it you kind of just learn it on the job all right so here are the minimum requirements so a bachelor's degree in industrial design all right or currently pursuing a design degree so if you're a student you can do this or if you recently just graduated boom there you go or per portfolio presenting you developing skill set all right and the next bullet point define aesthetic sensibility and the ability to articulate it well okay boom there you go guys this is definitely going to be a skill work on it there you go laid out for you that's a very very important one digital proficiency in the use of solidworks you when you guys ask me you know what programs do industrial designers use if you want to know what programs do industrial designers use just look up a job application and they will and find the job like application that you want to do and then look to see what programs are asking for and learn those ones. Digital proficiency in SolidWorks, KeyShot, Adobe uh, Creative Suite and Microsoft Office Suite. So when they say Microsoft, mostly they mean PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint is going to be more of the business way of creating presentations because it's very you know everybody has it and it's very uh, manipulatable and user-friendly compared to something like a pdf where you're gonna need like all the adobe stuff that's you know that you got to pay for and industrial designers we usually tend to like pdf a little bit better but um presentation powerpoint that's the way that most people do things uh on the on the business side okay 
um, understanding the basic product animation and rendering. Okay, so pretty much animation and rendering, no big deal. You know, we do that in school. Go ahead and do that for them. Passion for problem solving can do innovative attitude. All right, this is going to be a characteristic thing. This is going to be a personality thing. No matter what school you go to, they can't teach this part of it. All right, guys? So this is the part where you kind of have to do a little bit of self-development work on yourself to get better at attitude, to get better at, you know, being more confident. And this is when you could really be positive and really be a can-do, problem-solving, uh, uh, innovative type of designer. You know what I'm saying? All right, so strong attention to detail big one for industrial designers strong capacity for mechanical aptitude uh, exceptional verbal and visual communication skills dang they've emphasized that a lot in this so you know make sure uh, to practice when you are giving presentations to really not to think about too much about you know like oh my god i'm so nervous but think about like this is a situation here where I can present and really focus on and put my articulation skills to practice. So really utilize that time when you're in front of class to do that. Um, the ability to assist in multiple projects and uh, multiple projects concurrently. Okay, so multitasking, you know, not just one project, but multiple projects. This is definitely a skill by itself. Um, I remember when I first started at my job, they gave me uh, one project at a time very very slow and over time I had to pick up more and more on the way and Before I used to put my you know, my heart and soul and I used to put all my time and effort into just one project And then later when I started accumulating three or four or five projects on top of each other It was really hard to put my all into it, which was fine I was still able to get them all done But personally inside I knew I could do better if I was able to work on them individually But that's just something that you have to get better at inside just you know really uh, figure that out um, as a designer and I, I think that these little hurdles will really just add to your experience as you know an industrial designer these are the stuff that you gotta have to go through okay um, basic understanding in areas of material and manufacturing processes so um, if you are going to school your school should be teaching you you know uh, introduction to materials. It doesn't have to be super in depth. It doesn't have to be crazy, but you know, at least understand different types of plastics. Understand, you know, you know, leather and um, acrylics, and which are different type of plastics, and how they are formed in certain ways. Like, are they extruded? Are they injection molded? Blow molded? Roller molded? And basic understanding of mechanical engineering. Again, mechanics. All right, so that's about it, guys. This video is gone pretty long, so I'm just gonna end it here. But I hope you learned something and I hope you learn um, just the underlining reading between the lines the skills of figuring things out so you know I want to know uh, what industrial designers are expected to do what are the skills what are the programs well just go ahead and look uh, in the job application and it's all laid out for you everything you need to know all right guys my name is Jimmy. If you learned something in this video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Also, leave a comment down below if there's anything you'd like me to talk about. If you um, have anybody that would benefit from these videos, definitely share it with them. And I'm sure they will appreciate it. Also, hit that subscribe button so that my videos come right to you guys. I found out that... Um, if you guys don't hit the little bell button, you may or may not get notified when I upload a new informational you know, helpful video that will might change your life. So go ahead and hit that little bell button so you don't miss the next video or any future videos. Um, anything else, guys, you know, go ahead and go to designlifebrand.com to grab yourself an awesome, awesome original Design Life t-shirts. And I am so freaking excited for these sketchbooks that are going to come out. I know I keep talking about it, guys. I know you want them, so they're coming soon. Um, we just have to, you know, get them shipped and stuff like that. All right, guys, catch you in the next video. Peace.